Hey, it's Jim Fisher, a.k.a. The Beat, with This Week Community News, and we are again on the road checking out local high school talent. This week we're at uh, Columbus Alternative High School, uh, where their musical is getting ready to launch next weekend, I believe, and uh, musical director Daryl Fleming is going to tell us a little bit more about it. Thanks for being with us today, Daryl. Sure. Um, this is a Disney musical review, uh, kind of unlike most musicals. It really is a review in the truest sense of the word and the fact that it just kind of goes through a walk down memory lane with all the different eras of the Disney uh, industry. All their show tunes and mo movie music that is representative of many of the characters that everybody would be familiar with in sure. Disney. So your kids are probably having a, a great time singing this stuff, right? Oh sure, yeah. It's lighthearted and fun as, uh, as Disney is and so it's a uh, really kind of a, a fun change of pace for us here at Cause. And um, I'm Aries. I'm a junior here at Columbus Alternative High School and I play Sebastian. I play Aladdin. I am Zazu. Um, I'm a muse. Have I forgotten anything? Uh, Mickey Mouse. Uh, Mouseketeer. Yeah. Probably, I probably forgot something else, but okay, I'm, I'm a lot of things. I'm a lot of things. Uh, I'm Corinne Naylor. I'm a senior here at Columbus Alternative High School. Um, I play Ariel and one of the stepsisters from Cinderella and one of the Siamese cats and also a Mouseketeer. Just about every Disney, like every, every one of your favorite Disney songs is in this production. Yeah. Um, one thing that kind of like Kind of not, it's not bad, but it's like as soon as you're like getting into the groove of one song, and as soon as you're liking one song, it switches to another song. So, but we do do just about every Disney song that's popular. Yeah, for me, what was really exciting was being a senior. Um, I'm kind of coming to the close of everything, so it's nice to recap from my childhood and like look back um, on all my favorite Disney songs. And I know when my mom comes, you know, she's gonna like look back as well. So that's that's always a really great thing. It's really, it's really difficult from the standpoint of like changing into all your different characters, but also from the standpoint where you're so many different characters, like you're different people in each, um, in each part that you play. So we're so used to playing the same character <laughs> for one production, getting used to their lines, and you know this is a lot different because we have to be a Disney princess, but then I'm an evil stepsister, and then I'm a cat. <laughs> so it's kind of like all over the place. So it, it, is, it is really new to get used to. I think the audiences are going to remember the more smaller things because they're so like individual but also they're so like, uh, they're so cute, they're just so cute the way the little things are doing, like we have the little white rabbit, uh, we have Grace running from the back screaming, I'm late, I'm late, and singing her little song, yeah. she's dressed in this, and she has this really big clock, and then we have uh, Mowgli and Baloo and singing their bare necessities and they do a little dance, and we have Davy Crockett and his big staff, I think it's the, like everyone has their time to shine, I think that's what mm -hmm. people are going to remember the most. I also think that um, whichever character you kind of identified with as a child or whatever movie you were more attached with, for me that's what I tend, like going through the show, I start to you know get really excited during Beauty and the Beast numbers or during Little Mermaid numbers or Cinderella numbers because that's what I saw when I was growing up. Um, so I think that's a huge part of what people will remember. I think our last number too, um, Circle of Life, is, is yeah. going to be really powerful too. Yeah, I think the production numbers will be good, like Beauty and the Beast. We have the dishes and the forks and knives coming out and doing that, and we have a really good Lumiere. Uh, under the sea, there's a bunch, we have fishes and we have waves, and then like we dance, and so I do think the production, I think what do we, people are gonna find that their favorite one and they're gonna pick that one. Yeah.